Given that 90% of rural businesses are small, the committee has a vested interest in agricultural and rural development issues. Today, we will hear from key agricultural industry representatives as they outline their small business priorities for the upcoming Congress. This is a timely hearing as the House Agriculture Subcommittees continue marking up various titles of the 2007 Farm Bill this week. The committee will look at what can be done to assist these farmers and related industries with competing and surviving in a global economy. The goal is to ensure small businesses in rural areas have the tools necessary to succeed. This includes an examination of the challenges facing the nearly 2 million family farmers, but it also goes beyond that. Countless other small businesses are indirectly impacted by the agricultural economy, including most rural businesses, grocery stores, food export companies, food processing plants, and restaurants. It is clear that small businesses in agriculture and rural America are facing many obstacles. Their bottom lines are affected every time livestock and commodity markets fluctuate. There is a lack of rain or energy prices rise. In spite of these barriers, the family farmer has been able to respond and continue to grow. Our rural economy has shown an ability to adapt and change with the development of new technologies. They have created opportunities by adding different uses for their products, from investing in renewable energy to identifying foreign markets for their products. Family farmers have been resilient and local economies have benefited from it. Continued success depends not only on the existence of various farm support programs, but also on furthering rural development. Many rural areas continue to lack the basic infrastructure to market and sell their products. For example, we need to provide better access to broadband and ensure there are affordable transportation options, such as rail. And if there are changes to our immigration policies, they must address workers' shortages in the agriculture industry. While tackling these problems can come with a cost, having a vibrant agricultural community is sound economic policy. Whether it be creating new and improved programs or maintaining existing ones, we must do what it takes to ensure family farms and small businesses in this area are thriving. Agriculture-related issues affect every member's district. While it may seem that there is no connection between feed prices in Illinois and the price of beef in New York, the economics shows otherwise. American agriculture and farmers have an impact on those in urban districts and rural districts alike. The priorities presented today will be used by the committee as it formulates ways to improve the economic environment for rural small businesses. I look forward to hearing about what policies have been successful and if there are additional reforms needed to ensure future growth. The success of small companies in the sector can serve as a model for other industries. I appreciate the witnesses coming here today and I now yield to the ranking member, Mr. Schabot, for his opening statement. Thank you, Chairwoman Velasquez, for holding this important uh, hearing on one of the largest reauthorizations that Congress will undertake this year, the Farm Bill. It is appropriate that this committee consider issues of the Farm Bill because the vast majority of farmers and businesses located in rural America are relatively small. The significance of the farmer reaches back across the mystic cords of memory and the American consciousness. President Jefferson noted the importance of the yeoman or small farmer as the backbone of the American democracy. President Lincoln, when signing the legislation creating the Department of Agriculture, called it the People's Department. Anyone who has read the novels of Laura Ingalls Wilder or Willa Cather knows that life on the farm is not easy, nor can one deny that rural America faces significant economic challenges. At the same time, it's important to remember that rural Americans are not the only ones facing economic difficulty. 
urban areas throughout Ohio, for example, have long faced problems of the so-called Rust Belt. My district has lost uh, many jobs as a result of factories closing. Uh, the need for economic development and revitalization are as important to the residents of the factory towns adjacent to the great Midwestern waterways, such as the Ohio River and Great Lakes, as it is for the small towns scattered among the fruited plains. Today, the committee will receive testimony from representatives of farm groups and those involved in rural economic development. Farmers and livestock producers play a critical role in maintaining the health of the rural economy. Therefore, it makes sense that these groups offer their suggestions on the path that Congress should take in promoting the health of the farm economy in rural America for the next five years. Despite increased revenues stemming from tax cuts, uh, the, the monies available to fund all the discretionary programs, including those policies suggested by the witnesses, are severely limited. This reality constrains the options that this committee and this Congress have in meeting the needs of the small business communities in urban and rural uh, areas. In our deliberations, we will have to adopt those policies that are most cost-effective, providing the greatest opportunities to the largest number of Americans.